my story time friends. How are you today? Thank you for spending this time with me. So, so happy that you're here. Today is a special day for, yep, mommies. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you mommies and grandmas out there. Hope you're having a super, super day because you are super, super special. And um, God made you a mom or a grandma, and that's wonderful. And your kids love you so much. So today I have a book that I think that you'll both like. But before we start it, let's sing our song. I sing first and then you do. Are you ready? One, two, three. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Everybody, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, everybody, that the Lord has made. He's made us a great day today. I have a story for you. It's called My Mommy Medicine. Hmm, do you ever have to take medicine? Sometimes it tastes kind of sweet and kind of yummy, but we can only take it if an adult gives it to us, right? Right. And sometimes it tastes really yucky. I can remember Vicks 44 was what it was called when I was a little girl, and it tasted awful. Well, this is a story of a little girl who's not feeling well, but what she needs is her mommy medicine. Oh, I love it. I love it. So let's read the book. Sorry. Whenever I am sick or just feel kind of gloomy or sad, I can always count on my mommy medicine. Sometimes it's a kiss so loud. It reminds me of a French horn at Mardi Gras. Or it hugs so warm and tight it feels like wearing my toastiest pajamas on a cool, cool night. Sometimes it's a cuddly nose rub or a massage that tickles. Or a menthol back rub so minty it fills up my whole room. Sometimes it's a fruity popsicle, kiwi watermelon, or just plain old vanilla ice cream will do. Sometimes it's tea, ginger, cinnamon, or peppermint or even better, hot chocolate, full of misty, foamy milk that looks like clouds or angel wings, or soup, pea, chicken, or squash. I love squash. It's like sunshine in a bowl. Sometimes it's bubbles, the kind of bubbles you blow or catch or sink in the tub. Sometimes it's a card game, Uno or Crazy Eights, or maybe chess or dominoes, or if I'm feeling up to it, a piggyback ride, or an indoor horseshoe toss. Sometimes it's a whispered prayer just before heading off for nap time. And sometimes it's a song at bedtime when Brother John is sleeping and the itsy bitsy spider is climbing up a water spout and little stars are twinkling and I'm mommy sunshine and she is mine. And we make each other happy even when skies are gray. Sometimes it's a silly dance we make up ourselves, a dance that works even if you have to stay in bed. And sometimes it's a story where we sail off on a great big adventure to a faraway land where everyone is in trouble and only mommy and I, and of course a little magic, can save the whole entire world. Or we watch a favorite movie that makes us laugh and laugh and laugh and makes us cry a little too. Or we cover our castle box with all the drawings we've made. And sometimes it's just plain old sitting up, mommy and me, propped up against my favorite pillow while watching my ceilings glow in the dark, stars flicker, making our own sky. Sometimes it's even actual medicine, which might taste yummy or yucky. 
but nothing will ever, ever take the place of my mommy medicine. Did you like that? Wasn't that a great book? Does your mommy have mommy medicine? I bet she does. I bet she does. Mommies don't like it when their little ones don't feel good. And we wish that we could, could help you feel better like that. But sometimes all those little precious mommy medicine ideas just make us feel a little bit better. Sometimes we need to rest, sometimes we need medicine, sometimes we need to drink lots of water. But it's those mommy medicine things like hugs and kisses and I love yous and songs make us feel so much better. I hope that you enjoyed our story today and ask your mommy about her magic mommy medicine. Have a great day and happy Mother's Day. Bye.